hello. It is uh, Wednesday here at Andy Mark. It's Pizza Wednesday. We had Harvey Hinkelmeyer's Pizza, which is my favorite pizza today. Availability of two by one tube is a hot thing. We have 6063 aluminum tube. We don't have 6061 aluminum tube. Now, you can do your homework and look up, look up material specs for each one of these, but in general, 6063 is about three quarters the strength of 6061. It, it's a little bit gummy to machine, but you can you can work with it. You can get it to work with your system. Just realize it's not going to be. It's about 70 to 80 percent the strength of 6061. As far as like a lift kit, will they even notice that difference? <laughs> it no. depends if their robot like falls over and tumbles into something. It's not a huge difference, but it, it is a slight difference in how that material is going to act. We are making a lot of Evos, so. We were a few days behind last week, but we're, we're keeping up for the most part with getting Evos out within a couple days. So Evo shifters, we're making a lot of those. Actually, I I think I learned how to build one a couple days ago. That was nice. Um, we're, we're making we're making darts, so we have a lot of darts going out. That's that's half of a dart. The other half is the user puts on the motor and, and the potentiometer system in here. Um, we also have this new product we're selling, the four gauge battery cable. So we're making a lot of those. We have. Um, four gauge little cables for your robot side. We have a lot of those. The business end of, of, of this product is really that crimp right here. And that, I think it's a six, it's either a six ton crimp or a 6,000 pound crimp. I can't remember which one, but really at that level, who cares? It's a big honking crimper that does the right, the right crimp and We've been selling these crimps in this ma in this manner for about 12 years now, and they don't fail. If you buy a cable from us that's a four gauge or a six gauge, you're going to get a really quality crimp on these ring terminals and also the Anderson connectors. Used to be, back in my day, used to be many robots would fail because of that crimp. Um, many, many, many robots would die and fail. For the back in my day part, just in the corner. Um, a little fun. locker doing like switching between two positions like that only when he's saying back in my day or a cut scene to you one of the old videos on the server of you back in my day it used to be many i just booked my flight to monterey week one so we're starting to plan we're starting to starting to plan where we're going for the districts and regional events a lot of us are staying here in Indiana to support the teams that we're on, but I'm going to venture over to um, venture down to Mexico to go to a week one event in Monterey. I'm kind of excited about that. That's going to be a big choke. The electrons are going to get stuck in that loop. <laughs> one of the points that's been made in Team Update 7 is uh, well, the gist of A3 is now a reasonably astute observer must be able to realize that your robot controller is a robot controller. So if they think it's a robot controller, you've got to make sure you put it down. Uh, they updated the blue box on A3. They, they also it. updated H8, which says don't abuse your arcade access. So basically if you're planning on having your technicians send secret signals to your drive team, too, too bad, so sad. That's totally neat. That's it. The Nedec motor, the brushless motor, is in the in first choice and it's, there's no more available in first choice. That means there's 500 that went out through first choice. We've sold a few, so there's a few more with regard to NEDEC motors available in the community. They're not a really hugely powerful motor, though they're not entirely impactful for like the drivetrain or those kind of things for this year's game. And I, I think that that is fine. It's a good way to, to introduce a brushless motor to the first community. And one thing that NEDEX is wanting to do, and we're going to have more information on social media about this, but they're wanting to have a usage contest for the brushless motor and controller to use on first robotics competition robots. So NEDEX is, is going to give out some cash prizes and also a bunch of t-shirts for the teams that put together a usage submission to them for how they use their dynamo motor. Figure out how to use it in some manner. Learn how to use this brushless controller. That's the point of what they're trying to do here, is trying to get us to use these, these motors and controllers. Maybe not even on an FRC robot. If it's on a robot, great. If it's not, great. Just get a submission into, into NEDEC so that they can see this. They have a post on Chief Delphi. 
So there it is. Check out the Chief Delphi post. Get into that. If you have an EDEC motor and you want you want to take some video of it and submit it, have at it. Friday we'll we'll go out to lunch and uh, I'm sure it'll be somewhere fantastic. Be safe, have fun, and uh, break your robot. Now's a good time to break it. You moved it, and I just got a close-up of your chest, which is <laughs> not really what I want that shot to be. <laughs>